Today is Wednesday, September 21st, 2022, and it's National Pecan Cookie Day. We're going to try to have two shows a week now. Yeah, you'll see our faces two times as much every week. I can't wait. <sighs> if all goes well, we can have one show on Wednesday and one show on Friday. On Wednesdays, we will have a comedy show from Cole and Abby and look at what's going on in the classroom. On Friday, we can talk about sports, weather, and the winner to our trivia. We have trivia this week? Yeah. we're. We're going to have a weekly trivia question. That's cool. Yeah, we'll pick a different subject every week. This time, I think we're going to go with band. Why? Our band and color guard just had their first performance this weekend, and we would like to congratulate them. Oh, good job, guys. They got second place at Paoli and best in color guard and general effects. This week, they will compete at Floyd Central. Good luck, marching band. So, back to the trivia question. Okay, our question for you is... Oh, sorry. What does this symbol stand for? Forms will be posted in your Google Classroom for your grade level. Put your answer on the Google form and your name will be drawn on Thursday. The winner will be announced on Friday. Good luck, everyone. Yesterday, I had a chance to sit down with Mr. Nichols and we got to talk about student council. Great. Can we watch it? Of course. Here it is. Welcome to the Cubs Day Studio, Mr. Nichols. Thank you for having me. So I'm going to ask you some questions about um, student council today. All right, great. Um, how many students are there in student council? There are 33, I believe. Um, usually there have been about 20 or to 25, but we had so many kids apply this year that we tried to include a few more. So. Um, how did you pick the students? Well, they had a really thorough application process. Um, they had to tell us a lot of information about themselves and, and um, how they felt about being a leader and why they felt it was important to help um, their school community. And they also had to get three teacher referrals from other teachers. Um, and and we, chose, we mostly chose seventh and eighth graders um, because they're the, the upper classmen of the school. And sixth graders will get another chance next year. But, so that was the kind of the process we went through. What qualities did you look for while picking? Um, leadership skills, for sure. Um, also, just a, an interest in helping others um, you know, and, and seeing that that's important. Um, and also being, wanting to be involved. You know. Things like that. Um, what are you looking forward to as a new student council sponsor? Well, I'm looking forward to how the kids um, work together to um, accomplish goals. And um, I'm also excited to see what ideas they come up with. They may come up with something totally different that we've never thought of doing before. So I'm excited to see how it all comes together. So what ideas do you have um, with student council? Well. I mean, I'm new to this, but right now uh, we're looking at um, several dances. We're looking at um, some food drives, um, possibly, let's see, what else? Uh, service projects. Last year you, you guys um, helped clean up Riley's Park. I don't know if we'll do that again, but something like that. Um, teacher Appreciation Week, those kinds of things right now. But again, there may be new activities that the um, student council kids come up with as we start meeting. So that's all the questions I have, but do you have any more, anything you'd like to add? No, I, I mean, I'm just excited to, to be working with student council, and um, hopefully we can help you guys, help the whole school, and um, if you guys, anybody has any ideas for something they think would be good for us to do, just you can tell me or Mrs. Snelling. Thank you for joining Thank us you today. for having me. Thank you, Mr. Nichols, for letting us interview you. Now we have our first show from our roving reporters, Cole and Abby. They sat down to play a game of Uno. But that's not the most interesting part. They decided whoever lost would get a pile of whipped cream to the face. Enjoy. Yeah, boy. The winner is... I win. 
Oh, really? And now I have to face the consequences of getting whipped cream in the face. Daddy, if you will be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me go through. Thanks for the laughs, Cole and Abby. That's all we have for today, SMS. Make sure to watch our Friday. Have a good afternoon.